same meteorological fall for those of us who aren't, I guess, in tune with, with a term like that. What exactly does that mean? All right. So us meteorologists like to keep things simple. We break the seasons really? down into three month blocks. Well, yeah, in this regard, <laughs> in this regard. Uh, so normally a meteorological summer, September, October, mm -hmm. November. Okay. Just a little bit easier to keep track of than with the astronomical dates. But the bottom line is the seasons are getting ready to change, but it's not going to feel like it. It's going to be really hot this week. Let's go to Pinpoint Doppler, take a look at what we're expecting. And uh, tonight, the rain showers have died down. Could see a few pop-up showers tomorrow, but the big story this week is going to be the heat and humidity, and it's still warm out there right now. Low 70s and upper 60s pretty much across the board, and uh, we're only going to dip down into the mid-60s tonight. An area of high pressure sitting just off to our west, pushing eastward through the overnight, and tomorrow we're going to tap into a southerly flow as that high moves off to the east and start to see those temperatures climb and the humidity levels climb. Some dense fog tomorrow morning, and then we'll see clearing skies. Now, as we go into the afternoon, it's going to be pretty similar to today. One or two pop-up showers, not a whole lot, and it's going to be mainly after lunchtime, but you can see uh, our drive time forecast trying to spit out one or two hit or miss little renegade showers. So uh, just know there's a chance. Not much of one, though. 10% through the end of the work week, 20% on Saturday, and that will carry us into Sunday as well. But the bottom line is the pattern looks more like summer than fall. We're going to see that heat core move a little bit off to the east. The humidity kicks up in earnest, but notice some cooler weather and some wet weather off to the northwest, and that may be a sign of what's heading our way a little bit later in the month, according to some of the long-range computer models. That's something we'll keep an eye on. We may have a big swing from summer conditions to more typical fall weather. Bottom line tomorrow, have that umbrella handy. The chances are you won't need it, but a few pop-up showers possible, especially in the afternoon. And that's going to be the same story every day this week. Uh, it should be mostly dry for those high school football games on Friday and the college games on Saturday. We'll keep a, a close eye on that, Tanner, as one or two renegade showers will likely pop up. But it's just going to be hot and humid the next couple of days. We've had some good weather for our games of the week so far. Of course, we'll be in Paintsville Friday for Pikeville at Paintsville, and then two games in Clay County Saturday for the Appalachian Bowl. And the forecast is looking pretty good for those. Pretty good right now. I can't roll out one or two showers, but uh, hopefully we'll keep things nice and dry. All right, Shane, thanks. Coming up next in Spring.